Hi guys, it's first thing in the morning, well not quite, I have had a drink, um, and I'm here in my bathroom and I'm letting you see the horror that is my hair before I do the colour wow. That's what I'm going to do today and try and film it oh, and um, let you see the difference it makes, if it makes a difference, you know it's a first review, so or first, what do you call it, first impressions review. So the truth is, it, this may be a complete bust, but I'm so hopeful. My hair, as you can see, during the night just absolutely goes to pot. And when I brush it through, it gets even worse. And I'll show you what I mean. When I brush out the curls and the squiggles, it does this it goes well it's like candy floss or something you know it sticks out it's awful it doesn't hold well, any style at all you can see the curls are persisting regardless both sides so i'm really hoping <laughs> that this color wow works and takes some of this endless froth off my hair so the first thing is the Color Wow, um, what's it called, Dream Filter. This is the pre-shampoo. So I'm gonna keep cutting my head off, I know I am doing this. <laughs> so professional. Uh, yeah, Dream Filter, you uh, put it all through your hair and you wait for, let me see, how long do I wait for? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Wait for one to three minutes and then I shampoo with, of course, the Color Wow shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to spray this all through and tell you what I think of it. Okay, so it does say, oh! <laughs> there was another cap inside it, as well as this one, there was a little one. It does say saturate the hair, which strikes me that you've got to use a lot. So here we go. Mm, doesn't really smell of anything in particular. Yeah, I'm trying to think. No, it doesn't really. It's not reminding me of anything. Um, this is what I normally have to do, only not with stuff like this. I use water just to try and calm the hair down and then do something with it on my second day. So I try not to wash my hair every day. They say we shouldn't, don't they? I mean, I did grow up, obviously, child of the 90s, 80s, even 90s. 80s I mean we showered every day um, and everyone thought that was completely normal um, but now they say we shouldn't so scooshes out really well as I said it there is a smell but it's not yeah I don't know what it is let's put it that way I'm trying to saturate the hair gosh it takes a lot um, I wonder if there'll be any way to see just how much I've used but I suppose if you've got shorter hair, obviously you're going to use less. But then if you've got, you know, really thick hair, because mine isn't thick, you know, mine's pretty awful. Bane of my life, I think, my hair. Considering cutting it again, not short, short, because I can't do short, short with this face, but, you know, cutting a bit of shape back into it again. Um, hubby says no. He likes my hair as it is. And let's just, I'll just brush it through and see if I've saturated it. Well, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it was saturated quite yet. Use a little bit more. God, I must love you guys letting you see me like this. <laughs> right. Yep. I think that will do it. So I'll wait the one to three minutes. Hop in the shower. Um, obviously, I'm not going to film myself in the shower. I know some brave people do, don't they? But I'm not one of them. There is no way that I've managed to do it without showing something that I shouldn't be showing. Um, and scarring, your, you know, the backs of your, your eyes, your retinas for the rest of your life. So I'm not going to be brave enough to do that. I'm going to just wait the one to three minutes, hop in, shower and condition with the Color Wow, exactly as they say how to do it. And then I will meet you again back when I'm trying to dry my hair and use all the other treatments and try and get the straightness. So um, I'll see you then. So I'm out of the shower and I've got to say <laughs> the shampoo scared the heck out of me. It smelled nice, well 
they almost have no smell um but it was one of those i think it's because it's sulfate free and this free and that free that my hair just sort of went as dry as dry could be it sort of wanted to mat the bottom third to a half of my hair just felt like straw and it sort of clumped together i was very worried <laughs> But I used the conditioner. I probably used a bit much of the conditioner, but I was pretty freaks to be fair. And the conditioner was lovely and it has freed the hair back up again. So um, I'm just gonna throw a t-shirt on and we'll get to the important bit. Okay, so I think, I'm not sure, but I think the next thing is this pop and lock. Although, no, maybe high gloss finish. Let me just see what it says. I'm a little confused. Apply evenly to wet hair and style as usual. So, it's a serum. Mm, works inside the hair. I'll put a bit on. <laughs> Do the colour pop and then I'll probably try some more. So, let's just see what this looks like underneath, shall we? Well, the colour's still there. I did wonder whether, you know, when it was stripping out... The, the first thing uh, is supposed to strip out, you know, nasties from your hair. And I was wondering whether one of the nasties it would strip out was the colour. So let's see what it feels like. Yeah, it feels okay. Feels pretty much, yeah, pretty much like when I've used any other shampoo or conditioner. I'm not going wow, but at least I'm not horrified, which I was for a few seconds after using the shampoo. So I'll put some of this serum in. I won't go too mad with it. Oop. Here we go. I do. That's, can you see it there? It's about two and a half pumps. It was coming out slowly. No smell, but I can tell. Very thick when you rub it together in your hands. Yeah, still no, very faint. Nice smell though. So I'll just concentrate it on the, ends of my hair where it gets most sort of frizzy and dry and nasty and then just smooth over the rest with the residue and then we're going to start the colour pop no colour pop what am I talking about that was colour pop we're going to start the dream coat <laughs> It's first thing in the morning, ladies. It's first thing in the morning. The brain doesn't work well first thing in the morning. So um, I'm pleased that I'm even here. Get a clip. Now, it said you've got to put it on each section of your hair and then blow dry using tension to uh, make it stay. Pretty sure that's what it said. I'll look again. Let's say uh, my glasses are a bit wonky as well because the baby had them last night and they've not it's not lasted well so it's a shampoo condition towel dry hair divide into sections spray each section liberally comb through and then blow dry each section using tension so here we go so class that as a, a section can't we let's just if i can get this going ah yeah okay This is the most tension thing I could think of, which is my uh, Dyson Air Cooler, Curler, Dyson Air Curler with the bristles on the end. So I thought, so here we go. I have to be honest and say, these are the bits that I'm most interested in. These ones underneath. During the day when it's hot um, and I have flushes, obviously I get hot and I sweat a little bit. And what happens, even when I've used my straightening irons or whatever, gradually through the day, this stuff under here reverts back to curls. Um, and then it's sort of, because it's curly underneath, it starts to sort of push, push the hair out away from my head. Do you know the character, you guys will probably remember crystal tips. That's how I feel sometimes, like crystal tips, that my hair is starting to sort of go up and up and up and up like that. So it'll be really interesting. I want to pay extra attention to these underneath ones. Funnily enough, the surface ones aren't so bad. It's the deep set ones that really curl a lot. So I'll keep going and then I'll check back in. Okay, so you can see this is the very bottom layer of my hair. You can see that I have a lot of breakage. It's because of the, the curls and the knots that it forms in. 
it feels smoothish but it is i am having can you see the issues with all the short hair the flyaways i'm, I'm having some issues getting those to lay down but hopefully <laughs> as i do more hair uh it'll get better sweating cob nuts <laughs> I'm guilty of being one of those people I don't I normally either leave my hair wet for a while and then dry it so I'm not not drying it from you know sopping wet or I just part dry it um this is the first time in ages that I have blow dried it from um yeah as wet as it comes so it's lovely and shiny let's have a look let's have a look it's lovely and shiny it is fairly straight you know it's fairly straight can you see uh, I hope you can see okay um overall it's nice overall it's nice I have to say it looks sort of can you see it's kind of silky looking it feels nice in my hands it feel can you see that it's almost like a, a hair advert so at the moment I'm impressed okay at the moment I am impressed now I want to leave this now oh I've got to put a little bit of that um is this the colour pop one? Pop and lock. A tiny little bit, and I'm going to use a tiny bit because I don't want to overload when my hair's already had so much stuff put in it. So I'm just using, I think that's about, you know, half a pump just to get a little bit and just smooth it through the ends. Um, so what I'm going to do now, <laughs> as a true influencer, I'm going to leave it now and I'm going to come back later in the day and we'll see how it's worn through today and then hopefully if I'm brave enough and if I remember <laughs> I'll do a quick what it looked like uh, tomorrow morning because obviously this is meant to last not even just a few days it's meant to last through two to three shampoos so in theory I'm supposed to be able to wash and dry my hair two or three more times and it will stay straight so that i don't have to do this this um this stuff and the long drying time which would be fabulous to be fair if it worked and next time i was you know wash my hair i was able to sort of give it a brush through. i always have to dry the fringe otherwise it goes off in three directions because i've got a, a cowslick here um but if i could just dry the fringe and give it a quick rub over and it stayed straight that would be quite a i mean a game changer in my life but we'll see shall we but so far as i say just run the brush through it again I, you know, I am impressed. It is lovely and silky and smooth. So if nothing else, even if it doesn't manage to do all the straightening and keeping it straight and all that, it is still a very, very nice treatment. So that's it. I'll see you later when we'll have a look, see <laughs> whether this is working. So here I am. It is, um, quarter to 11 i've just realized i'm still wearing my watch it's quarter to 11 i've had a long day today um and this is how the hair is holding up i'll give it a brush through but what i'm most interested in looking at is whether i'm starting to curl under here and i am a little bit but it's not like it normally would be normally by now there would be spiral curls going on underneath so so far i really am quite impressed with this maybe even more than quite impressed i'm not sure but if i just give it a brush through so you can get a proper look because obviously i've been playing with the kids and stuff so it's all over the place you know running around living my life i think i've only brushed it twice since i did it this morning so here we go let's just so that you can see it at its best it's not very paggy which is always an issue for me there is a little bit of fullness coming in here i maybe didn't use enough of the um oh gosh what's it called picking it up uh the dream coat i maybe should have used even more but i have to say compared to me getting up washing and conditioning my hair using one of the normal styling products that I use and then blow drying my hair this is very good this is very good for my hair 
So I'll check in again with you in the morning and you'll see just how dreadful I look again. <laughs> we must stop meeting like this. Okay, so this is first thing in the morning the following day and I don't think there are very many curls coming through. So this is big news for me. I'll just get a brush out. I'm just not going to look as good because I've still slept on it, but it's still very, you know, silky and it's still pretty straight. Um, considering I have one of these that, you know, tosses and turns all over the bed during the night, so my hair is always a wreck in the morning. I mean, that's not bad is it guys considering it's my first attempt at doing it i'm impressed now i'm going to do one more um check in with you on this which will be tomorrow morning because i shower every other day so um tomorrow i will wash it and we'll see will it still hold because it's supposed to for what is it two to three washes it's supposed to keep this smoothness um, as I said, I may not have used enough stuff, but let's let's wait and see. I'll check in with you and um, show you whether it, you know, how much it helps um, after you wash your hair. <laughs> oh, first thing in the morning and I'm trying to put words together, you know, trying to make sentences and make sense. Not good. It's not a good thing for me. <laughs> anyway, okay, so one more check-in to go. Good morning guys, so here we are, day three. So I'm gonna wash my hair today, as you can see. Oh, a bit tangled this morning. But I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of curl that's come underneath. Oh, sorry, it's so wobbly. But nothing like what I would normally have or normally suffer with. So I am, at the moment, very impressed. Now the last test, of course, is I'm supposed to be able to shower, and when I go to dry my hair, it should still be relatively straight. Now I'm not holding out much hope for this, but <laughs> I'm gonna hop in the shower, and I'll meet you again um, when I dry my hair. Okay, so final stage, I'm out of the shower. <clears throat> um, while I was in the shower, I had a little think. I thought I would still pop on some more of this, which is the pop and lock, because it's meant to be a sort of serum for your hair. So, but I'll just do one and a half pumps, not, not a lot. Um, then I'm gonna brush it through and I'm gonna rough dry it. So I'm not gonna spend the 10 minutes doing the tension, pulling, all that sort of nonsense. I'm gonna rough dry, which will really put it to the test because my hair will want to curl or would normally want to curl and hopefully it won't I was going to say be able to but you know what I mean hopefully it just won't curl as much so let me just give it a quick um it always looks quite straight when I <laughs> when I wash it because it's not real beautiful curls that, that other people have it's yeah peculiar old lady curls is what I would call it because it came with menopause so yeah I'm going to blast it and then we'll have a look. Okay, so I've rough dried it. Um, it's quite wet still in the back, to be fair. But this is generally what I would do <laughs> on a cold day. Because I'm staying home today, I've got quite a few jobs and chores to do around the house. So it doesn't have to be picture perfect. It just has to be clean and nice. But we're looking at the straightness and I want to show you it's quite straight. Um, I've done no sort of curling under and tension. You can see there's a bit, can you see there's a bit of the squigglies in there? But it's minimal and probably more to do with how much product I use, probably not enough, um, because I was a first time user. So I have to say, this stuff works. It does work. The shampoo is the scariest thing ever if you worry about it feeling dry, because it just felt so dry or feels so dry, because it did again today. Um, but as I said, I think that's because it hasn't got lots and lots of things in it. It's really just cleaning your hair. Uh, the conditioner is fabulous. And, you know, this is very straight for my hair, just blasted with the hair dryer, the odd, the odd brush through. Nothing, you know, nothing else. So if I wanted to be really careful and, and, and put the curls in there, I think it would totally hold. So I have to give Colour Wow the sweet i don't know whether you do call it a sweet but i call it a sweet color wow the sweet a massive thumbs up i am really chuffed really pleased and it will be part of my um 
my wardrobe it doesn't mean i won't always it won't allow myself to have curly hair sometimes because i will i quite like my curls occasionally but on my everyday you know getting on with life this is great to be able to blast it with a hairdryer and have it hang can you see it's hanging straight my hair would normally be sort of starting to do this cotton candy thing and stand out so that is a huge improvement anyway it's the first time i've done this kind of video for you i hope you like it um I, if you do i'll try and do more of them um and it's been weird talking to you at odd times of the day <laughs> and certainly very odd letting you see me first thing in the morning three days on the trot <laughs> anyway i hope you're all well and i hope you're all happy and i'll see you really soon bye